There's a really neat feature in here, and that is fully automated flying. So we can literally program waypoints in here to the app, and we will get an entirely automated flight, and it will actually fly around to the different waypoints. It will go to the height we want, it'll go to the different geolocations, it will stay there and take photographs and video on those set locations. All right, so to do the waypoint, uh, one of the first things you wanna do is make sure your battery is full. So I have a full battery right now because you don't want the battery dying. In fact, if the battery is gonna die, it just won't. It will abort the mission and come back. So let's set this up for doing this fully automated flight mission. What you're gonna do is you're just gonna take the app and you're gonna swipe across one more and now it's actually gonna zoom into your location there and it's actually gonna show this is where we are right now. Now notice there's this red line here and then it's green over here. What is that telling us? That's telling us right now we're too close to an airport to go in and do a fully automated flight. So we can't set a waypoint when we're in there. Right now we're too close to an airport so we cannot do the waypoint. And this is a great safety feature. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and we're gonna set our waypoints in a different location where it's further away from the airport and it's safer to fly. All right, we're getting ready to do a fully robotic flight. As you saw just a couple of seconds ago, we were in a different location and it was too close to the airport. And there's a safety feature that actually shows you when you're within a restricted zone and it won't let you do an automated flight within that uh, area. So here we are now, we're outside of the restricted zone. It's a safe zone, there's no airplanes or anything here. And now we're gonna do a fully automated robotic flight where I'm just gonna basically set everything here on the phone set up the waypoints and then a cop is going to take off do the entire mission and come back all by itself so let's get started the first thing we're going to do is we're going to jump here into the app and let's have a look at the settings that we're going to do set things up and go all right so here we are uh, we're inside the app right now and then we're just going to click on the camera to go into the camera like normal and then this camera is going to load up then we're just going to swipe across and this takes us into our waypoint navigation and you'll notice immediately if I just push this little button, if it doesn't happen, it will zoom into our location where we are right now. You can see the little plane there. And that's us in our area here that we're gonna fly. Let's just zoom out, I'm gonna show you something quickly. Notice as I zoom out, you can see there's our restricted area that we were in before. And we're now outside of that area safely. So this is where we are in our area here. So I'm just gonna zoom back in. All right, notice this little compass, if we do this, button at the top here this will orientate it to and it will lock it north but if I unlock it here which is what I like to do it will actually show us our position from where I'm pointing and then we've got some options here the options we can do is we can control the speed from fast slow and medium I'm gonna keep it at medium I see a GPS is on I see we've got 10 satellites so we're looking really good we're looking at the map here we can look at different views we could do the standard which is just the map we can show the satellite, which shows our terrain here. So I can zoom in, we can see where we are. There's some trees and stuff. I see that tree line there. Or we're gonna do the hybrid. And I actually enjoy using the hybrid most of the time. So here we are, we can zoom in, we can see our area. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna actually set up our waypoints. So to set up our first waypoint, I'm gonna go up to the tree line. I'm just gonna tap and you're gonna see one. So it's gonna to fly to that location. Then we're gonna follow that tree line to our second location. Let's add another waypoint, I'm just going to swipe with my finger, maybe go up to the edge of that little lake thing, and um, that's going to give us those four points. We can add a lot more points than that if we want. So what we want to do now is we want to set our height. So we're going to click the first waypoint. The height right now is 98 feet. Let's take it to about 200 feet. And I'm going to click OK. Now let's move down to the second one here. And on the second one here, we're going to bring our height to about 189. That's okay. And then here, we're going to keep it down to like 98 feet. And then what I'm going to do now is we're just going to let it return back to home there. So now that we've got that set up, we're ready to go. And uh, we can actually do the fully automated flight. All we're going to do now is we're just going to push done. And notice it shows me here on our waypoints. These are the different points it's going to fly within our little area here. Now we can fly up to 1600 feet from where we are right now, but I'm just going to keep it close for the sake of this uh, demonstration. And then we can see that we've set these up right now. And all we're going to do is now is we're going to push the go button. When we do that, the copter is going to start up by itself 
it's going to take off and do the full mission. So let's do that. I'm going to hit the go button right now. And here's our copter. It's going to take off by itself. There we go. It's taking off. And I'm going to go back over here right now and I'm going to set the video. So we're recording video now. And notice we can actually go back in there if we want while it's doing this automated flight. It's going to continue to do this. We can look through the first person view. We can see what our copter's seeing. We can also see that we've got, you know, our, uh, how much flight time we've got. We can see everything. We can see recording video. We can take photographs or we can go back into here into our waypoint position. And, uh, and we can follow our copter and we can see where it is right now. It's nearing the first waypoint. And there it is up over there. And it's just going to sit there. It's going to hover there for a little second. And now it's turning around and then it's going to move off to the next location. So there we go. Now it's starting to fly off to the next location. And as it's flying, you can see it following this little flight path as well as seeing it flying up in the air there. So it's going to go to all the four, uh, to the three positions and then the fourth position is going to be home. So there we go, it's going across. And right now, because we're doing it at a medium speed, it's actually going at a good speed where we can get some good video. Let's have a look and see what we're recording. See that beautiful straight line, nice smooth video that we're getting right there. So this is just a really cool feature for when you want to do this type of stuff. Now you could use this for all kinds of things. You could use it for surveying a property. You could be using it for checking out a building site. Uh, you could be doing it just for some photography, some video. Uh, you could be following a road. There's all kinds of different things that you can do using these features. So as you see, this is just really cool. It's fully automated. I'm not doing anything right now. The copter is now moving into its third position right now all by itself. It's going to go there. It's going to finish its position and then it's going to come back. And once again, you know, here we are. We can see what's going on here. We can go in there. We can see the first person view. We can go in, we can also see what's happening in the Waypoint app, and this will zoom in quickly. Let's just hit that little button, zoom in, there we are. And it's actually going to arrive at point number three, and it's going to um, just pause there, and now it's turning and it's coming back. A couple of things I want to make you aware of. One, this little pause button. If I push that button right now, the copter will actually stop and it will pause. And this is great if you need to take some photos, some video, uh, you need to take a break or whatever for whatever reason. Um, maybe you've got some actors that need to be in position. And then all you do is you hit the play button and it will resume and now it's coming back home. At any time though, you can hit this little button here, the go home button, and this will cancel the mission and bring the copter home immediately. Now, um, when you're in this automated mode or you go into the go home mode, at any time here, we can actually just flick off our navigation here by turning off the GPS. And then we turn the GPS back on and at that point there, we've got control of our copter again. So right now I've actually just regained control. We hit here and we go done. We've finished the mission. Now you can hit the go button if you wanted to repeat it and you could do that mission all over again. So that's the basics of our automated flight. And as you can see there, it's really quite easy and it's a lot of fun. So one of the things I like to do is if I'm doing something and I'm gonna have some action happening in a different area, I'll set up the automated waypoint, then I'll hit the pause button get everything set up, you know, if I've got actors or whatever in position, and then when all the actors and everything are ready to go, I'll hit the resume and then we just get this beautiful automated flight where the copter will just fly smoothly and evenly all the way through. So um, that's another option that you want to play around with. Now one thing, be aware, don't do this automated flight around power lines. Don't do it around people, around built up areas. You're not going to be able to do it around airports and restricted areas because it won't allow you to do that. But uh, just be careful like that. Just think safety first. And also when you set the height of your waypoints, make sure that you set enough height to clear any obstacles. If there's trees or anything like that, make sure that you're going high enough to uh, go over the trees. Also, if there's hills, bear in mind that the altitude is not the altitude from that hill. It's the altitude from where we're standing. So if you've got a hill over there and you're going to fly over that hill, make sure you put enough altitude in here between the two waypoints for it to go up and over the hill. So that's the basics of robotic flying. Um, I think it's a pretty neat feature.